Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. And it reads, At last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. I want to start off, give it off. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakah Kodash. Secondly, double honors to the apostles and bishop slash elders at Great Millstone that teach and rule well today. And salutation also to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry, pushing the word of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, and all truth and sincerity day in and day out. Shalom. I'm the brother Shaquat Gabar from the Great Millstone, South Carolina Midness Branch. Coming at you with another quick lesson. And as always, before I get into my lessons, uh, these message, this message or this vid these videos goes out to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which we are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible, and also to the Israelite foreigners that are scattered amongst the heathen nations. And it may look like a typical heathen of another nation, but if your bloodline goes back to Negro, Latino, or Native American descent by the seed of your father, you're considered an Israelite as well. So shalom out to you brothers and sisters that scattered worldwide, listen to faith and exalt the name of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. So basically I started with uh, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse seven. Okay, and you know, what reason why I'm going into this quick video, okay, basically about you know, prophecy, because that's the time that we are in, okay, which the word prophecy means the say before. And that's where that's where you have Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah have his prophets out. Okay, many of the men of Great Millstone and those that's in the correct doctrine and the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah that's out that's out there on the highways of byways, the prophesy, and part of that prophecy is to give warning. Okay? And also by the way this word being pushed on the internet, man, doing sit-down videos such as this, man. So Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is constantly speaking. When it comes to his men teaching and going into prophecy, as you can see what's going on here in America and all throughout different parts of the earth, man, okay, of the world, man, okay? We coming into the, the time of the downfall of America, okay, which is known as Babylon the Great and uh, the fall of the Edomites, the so-called white race, starting with their elites on down. Okay, and the rest of these heathen nations as well. And I make the statement about Jacob's trouble here in Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. Okay, the times that we're coming into is also is going to affect uh, the Israelites, man. Okay, especially here in America. And, and, and we already know, according to the scriptures of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, that the two thirds of the wicked of Israel is going to be cut off and they're going to die. It's going to come into the form of these plagues of uh, judgment that the Lord got set. Okay? But let me read Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7 again. And it says, alas. I wish that word alas mean uh, woe. Okay? Destruction. Okay? And it says, alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the times of Jacob trouble. And Jacob represents you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Okay? Us, the Israelites. So the times that we're approaching in, that we're entering into is the time of trouble, okay, for you so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans. And it says, but he shall be saved out of it, and that he represent the elect, okay, the 144,000 and the one-third that's destined to be saved through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, okay, and these great upcoming calamities and, you know, trials and tribulations and turmoil that we about to enter into. But two-thirds of our people, they're not going to be saved, man. Okay, they're going to be cut off and they're going to be destroyed, man, here in America. And that's written in uh, uh, Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8. Okay? But the point is that we're coming into the, entering into the time of trouble, man. And this goes into the prophecies. Let me get this uh, also. This is Daniel. Chapter 12, verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people, 
Let's go into one of the angels, Michael, the archangel, standing up, okay, for the nation of Israel, okay, mainly the elect, okay, because in the times that we're coming into, we're going to need the covering of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, of the Lord's spirit, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that the Lord have stored upon us to know what times that we're in, measuring the times, okay, and ultimately also when Yahweh Shai return with the hosts of angels, what the world call UFOs, which are known as the chariots, okay, and Michael, the archangel, going to be with Yahweh Shai in that time, okay, and they're going to, uh, uh, Yahweh Shai is going to make his second coming, and they're going to bring war, okay, uh, as, you know, as we're coming into the time of prophecy, World War III is a key prophecy as well, man, as we're approaching, okay? And in the climax of World War III, you're going to have Yahweh Shai and the angels returning to bring war against these nations' military, but going to deliver the elect out of the destruction, okay, from those thermonuclear missiles was destined to hit this place, America, Babylon the Great, okay? And that's prophesied, man. Okay, so Michael going to stand up, man. Okay, and that's going to start with the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay, when the Lord have his angels and, and reserve his men, his elect men. Okay, and also during the time of deliverance, when Yahweh shall return. Okay, to bring the deliverance to the elect. Once again, as I mentioned, out of the destruction of those thermonuclear missiles, that's going to uh, collapse this place, man. Turn this place into a lake of fire, man. The lake is going to be beamed up out of that destruction through those chariots. And it says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since uh, there was a nation, even to that same time. Okay, so the times that be coming into it gonna, is, gonna, is not going to compare to any other time, okay, or past historical events when it comes to, you know, the uh, uh, history uh, uh, of us, the Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, man. Okay, this is going to be the worst catastrophic time ever, man. Okay, and you can see going to the history about, you know, in, uh, historical times of mass death. Okay, but that's not going to compare to the times that we about to enter into, man. Because this is the final judgment, man. Okay, and it says, and there should be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. And that's going into the elect being delivered. Okay, once again, 144,000 and that one third. Okay. So we're in the time of, uh, of, of deliverance. But for us to be delivered, we got to be delivered for what? For trouble. Okay. The judgment that Yahweh Bashim is about to bring. And Yahweh Shah laid it out perfectly in Matthew, the 24th chapter, man. And we're going to get that. Okay, going to the signs that Yahweh Shah told the believers what to look for concerning the last days, which we are in. Okay, um, that's, that goes into his second coming. Now, this is the Math Matthew chapter 24, verse, um, I started at verse 3. And it says, and as he sat upon Mount Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world? And we're in that same mind frame as well, man. Okay? Uh, the hopeful elect, members that's involved in this uh, uh, this faith, that truly believe in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. We're looking for the, the second coming of Yahweh Shai, man. Hasten, man. Okay? So you're supposed to be in the mind frame of looking for the Lord to come back, man to deliver us out of this hell hole that we in, man. To deliver us from our enemies. The system that they set up to keep us downtrodden. Okay, to deliver us from these corrupt flesh. Okay, and all this madness that's going on, man. Because Yahweh Shah is coming back to set up everything in his rightful order. And the elect is going to be joint heirs and be part of that, man. Okay, meaning when Yahweh Shah returns, he's going to establish his kingdom here on the earth. After the destruction of America, okay, those nuclear missiles, okay, being launched during the time of World War III, 
okay? And after the, the smoke is clear, we're going to set, Yahweh Shah is going to set up the kingdom in the land of Israel, which, by the way, that land is going to be destroyed as well by fire, okay, by missiles, okay, because that's our land. And Yahweh Shah is going to set our land back up, or set the kingdom up back into his perfection to the fullest forever, man. And the elect is going to be the first fruits, joint heirs, until Yahweh Shah rulership, man. And that's the number we hoping that we part of, okay? The election. <clears throat> and it says, continue on. And it says, and when, when and this is in verse three. And as he said upon my olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? Okay, the end of the world, meaning the end of an age, man. Okay. A lot of people think, especially these Christians, they think when the end come, when all hell break loose, this whole world going to be destroyed, man. No, man, the end of an age, and the end of the age that we're coming into is the time of Esau, Edom, the so-called white race uh, um, being taken taken out of power, man. Okay, that's what Yahweh Shah is coming back to do. Okay, let me, matter of fact, let me get this real quick. And it starts with the Lord exposing this place, exposing Esau, Edom. That's 2nd Edges chapter 6. Let me see verse 6. <clears throat> uh, this is 2nd Edges chapter 6, verse 6. Then did I consider these things, and they all were made through me alone and through none other. And that's going into the Heavenly Father and the Son. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh that created everything. Okay? The, the Creator. And it says, By me also they shall be ended. And by none other. So basically, how about Shema was y'all saying that? They're gonna get all the credit, man. Okay, not these false gods and idols that majority of the world are into. Okay, or the world that's in, that's into, or uh, two thirds of our people, you wicked Israelites, you non-believers, that's not of the truth, but into the the ways of the world, following after these heathens and their customs and exalting false gods and idols. And that day, you how about Shema is gonna be known. That they're the only true power, man. Okay? I mean, let me continue on. Verse 7. Then answer I and said, What shall be the pardon asunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follow? Okay? For uh, And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, and when Jacob and Esau were born, and of him, Jacob hand. Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. And you can read about that in Genesis, the 25th chapter. Okay? The birth of Esau and Jacob. Verse 9. And that's what it mainly come down to. Esau, which is the so-called white race once again. And Jacob, us the Israelites. Okay? We are the main two characters in the Most High Yahweh Shai story or movie, man. And we know at the end of the movie, Yahweh Shah already prophesied and stated that Jacob, Israel, is going to win. See, now we're in the time of Esau, Edom, rulership. And Jacob's hand is on his hill, man, representing the, the pulling down of his kingdom. And the Lord is doing it mainly, once again, through the prophets, which are Israelites, man. And his son is going to come to take him out of power, okay, physically. But it's a spiritual battle right now. <clears throat> and it says, for Esau is the end of the world. Okay, once again, Esau is the end of the world. The end of this age. Okay, this is his rulership. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow. And that's the point. So the, the, the next world that's about to come into rulership is Jacob, which is, you know, uh, uh, Yahweh Shai setting up the kingdom. Okay. And the lake being joint heirs. And in our kingdom, all you heathens, starting with Esau, Edom, mainly uh, the elites, starting with them, they're going to go into captivity, man. Okay? And there's plenty of scriptures on that. But let me get back to Matthew chapter 24. <clears throat> Verse 4. Uh, and it says, Matthew, the 24th chapter, verse 3, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, 
when shall these things be and what should be the sign that I come in and of the end of the world and not just now you know grab a precept going into the end of the world which is represent Esau Edom rulership and Yahweh shall answer and said unto them take heed that no man deceive you okay for many shall come in my name saying I am the anointed and shall deceive many and you've seen that okay starting with these Christianity churches or these different doctrines of the world Islam okay uh, Roman Catholicist Kemet okay uh, and now people look for to those false doctrine to be their hope and be their salvation but they being deceived okay and even amongst the the circumcision supposedly okay these Israelite camps okay and you, you seeing that okay a lot of these Israelite camps they claiming that they're anointed by the Lord to go out there and teach the truth but when you see they you know they, they works how they carry themselves how they conduct themselves Okay, you see that Yahweh Bashim Shah is not dealing with them. You got a lot of these camps that that teach wavery doctrines, camps that don't, you know, they teach that um the Latinos and Native Americans are not Israelites. Okay. You got camps saying that the name of the Lord is not Yahweh and his son name is not Yahweh Shah. You can call him anything you want. Okay, you got camps out there saying that we're gonna be Justified by the laws, Yahweh Shah is not to be worshipped. Uh, uh, John the Baptist fell out of the truth. They uplifting and exalting itself, taking the word of the Lord and commercializing it and merchandising the word. Okay, so those those false prophets, man, they claiming they that the Lord sent them, but by their fruits, by their teaching, they have deceived many. Okay, misleading a lot of you. Israelites and it says <clears throat> Matthew chapter 24 verse 6 and you shall hear wars and rumors of wars and aren't we hearing that okay this whole situation about Ukraine and Russia okay and, and NATO and America being involved okay you got the America the US talking about sending troops to the border of NATO okay to, to ready to back up Ukraine because talks of Russia ready to evade Ukraine Okay, you still got, you know, talks here and there about Iran and Israel, the conflict between them. Okay, uh, 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 China and Taiwan. Okay, hey, so these are wars and rumors of wars, and you start to see things happen, man. Okay, this is the signs that Yahweh Shah told us to look for. And it says, uh, see that ye not be troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Yeah, come, because Yahweh Shah was talking about in the future, okay, to the most part, okay, of his second coming, okay? Now we're in the time of, of the trouble, the Jacob's trouble, man. But Yahweh Shemuel Shah, once again, is going to be the covering for his elect. Verse 7, for nations shall rise against nations and kingdoms and kingdom against kingdom. And aren't we seeing that? The division of the uproars of the people, civil unrest, okay, here in America, all throughout different parts of the earth, the region of the earth, okay, especially behind this whole situation that they're constantly pushing, okay, to get everybody, you know, uh, uh, activated. You got people resisting behind that, okay, uh, uh, people standing up for their the, the, the rights. The, the, the so-called liberty standing up against their government protesting rallies okay marches okay so, so, so these are the signs that Yahweh Shemashah told the elect to look forward to man and these things that's about to happen we are actually in this time man okay in such you know in, in here in Matthew the 24th chapter and such as many other scriptures that goes into prophecies that's uh, 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 coming to be fulfilled. And it says, and there, verse 7, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Oh, we seeing that? We're approaching famine. Okay, there are already a, a, a famine all throughout different parts of the region of the earth. But there's uh, one really coming to, to you know, threaten America. 
when you see about this whole food supply chain, the food shortages, okay? You starting to see America more and more showing you, uh, uh, showing the people that this place is through. We don't have food on the shelves, okay? Or the, uh, the, supply, the supply chain is limited. Stores, uh, uh, retail stores, grocery stores, ready to collapse, financially collapse because they don't have the, the product to sell. Okay, so it's gonna come to the point, man, where these people are gonna be out here uh, 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 senseless, man. Okay, they're already gone now being confused by the ways of this world and how the Lord got them blinded. But how much more when material things, tangible things are taken from them, such as food, such as water, electricity, okay, the money that they believe in, okay, the, the, you know, the cars, the, the, the social media, Okay, the entertainment. Okay, and we also come into the time where they're about to introduce and uh, implement the MOTB, the Karama. Okay, the micro. Okay, which is going to be the next currency, that digital currency that's going to replace the physical dollar, man. Okay, we come into the time of a, a cashless society. And majority of our people they don't see that, and majority of our people they're groomed to gradualism and groomed to you know, um being um uh being um no well like what I'm gonna say gradualism and being um uh um I think I had the word uh um it's not conform or conduct could probably uh uh you no know, basically being groomed and, and you know to to accept what's about the you know what they about to implement, man. Okay. Uh, uh, they they already you know doing away with the cash, doing away with the cash, everything credit based, debit debit based. Okay, digital. Okay, so they already making the the physical dollar obsolete, man. To come with this the new currency once again is that MOTB. Okay. Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. <clears throat> uh, continue on. And it says, And there shall be famines and pestilence. Pestilence. Every day you see about this whole pestilence that's going on. And new cases and new variants. Okay? And besides that, what they what they focus on now, you got other different types of, of, of pestilence. Okay? If you want to see about this situation that recently a couple of days happened in Philadelphia about those hundred lab monkeys on that truck that, you know, when the truck crashed and had an accident, how you had some of those monkeys got out and you had a, a woman supposedly, you know, she went up to the truck and got affected by one of the, you know, the monkeys. So we see how that play out, man, okay? And you're seeing people getting sickly, Okay, due to the weather, you saw pushing out the, the toxins through the air, the water, the food. Okay? So all this is coming to the point of plagues, man. And the blessing is a major plague. Oh, okay, it can be a major plague. And it says in earthquakes in diverse places. And you've seen that, earthquakes, natural disasters. Okay, as they call them. But we know this, the Heavenly Father and the Son bringing judgment or what the scriptures call tempest, okay? Which tempest meaning a, a, a strong, a scream storm or a storm, okay? Okay, you hear the warnings about, okay, you're seeing the, the warnings about this whole, uh, um, uh, um, uh, snowstorms, okay? You see up there, up north, Philadelphia, parts of up north, they flooded with uh, snow, Okay, I believe recently today you had a, a bridge in Pittsburgh collapse, man. And Bynum on his way to uh on uh, the Pittsburgh to cross that bridge, but it collapsed, man. Okay? And you no know, threaten of us uh, uh cold storms, freezing, okay, with the scriptures called blasting. Okay? All different, uh, all throughout different parts of the East Coast, man, from the north all the way to the southeast, man. Okay, 
earthquakes. Daily you hearing about earthquakes. Okay? Recently here in South Carolina, for the past about about two weeks ago, or a week ago, you, they was going into how South Carolina been feeling a little, little bit of uh, trembles, man. Okay? Earthquakes, man. Okay? And not large magnitudes, but, you know, still earthquakes because recently, you know, really, South Carolina not really known about earthquakes, man. Okay? And all throughout different parts of the earth, you're hearing about earthquakes, volcano eruptions, leading to uh, tsunamis being uh, formed. Okay, so the signs are showing, and it's right there to show us that Yahweh Bashimah was shot is right at the door, man. The majority of our people, they don't see it. You got Israelites that's supposed to be involved in the faith. They don't see it. They're playing around. They're taking everything as a joke, teaching false doctrines. But here we're approaching a time of great judgment, man. So that's it on that. And it says, verse 8, And all these are the beginning of sorrows. So all these things that's about to pop off, man, it's the beginning of sorrows, man. Okay? So that's it on that. The majority of people, they don't believe, man. Let me get this, second edges, chapter 16, I'm going to start at verse 14, let me see, Se second edges, chapter 16, verse 14, behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth, okay, and we start to see that, man, the plagues, man, the judgments, okay, that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh got stated in the scriptures, that's going to be fulfilled, man, in the last days, man. Okay? <clears throat> and it says, The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. And that fire is going into those thermonuclear missiles. Okay? And Yahweh Shah bringing fire as well by the way of the chariots. Okay? The so-called alien invasion, as Esau liked to put into his movies. Okay, but he got that from the scriptures, man. And they ain't gonna ain't those so-called aliens ain't no little green men. They are angels of the Lord. Okay, so-called black men. Okay? And they coming back with Yahweh Shah to bring fire as well, just as those thermonuclear missiles that's gonna be shot off simultaneously. Okay, that's gonna bring this place this destruction. Okay, America. Okay. So that's what it's going into. It said the fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. Okay, and this is going to be a nuclear war, but America is going to get the worst of it. And it says, like as an arrow, which is shot of a mighty archer, return if not backward. Hey, so you ever seen an individual that had a bow and arrow, a bow and an arrow, and they shot that arrow off? Okay, when have that arrow ever returned? Back to the person that shot it, to that sharpshooter. Okay, no, it went forward, man, and hit his target. Okay, that's how the Lord comparing these plagues, the judgments, to an arrow that's being shot off, man. Okay, it's not going to go in, return in vain. Okay, it's not going to go in vain, be in vain. And it says, like as an arrow is shot of a mighty archer, return if not backward, even so the plagues that shall be set upon earth shall not return again. Verse 17, woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? This Ezra, man. Okay, and verse 17 also proved recarnation. The Ezra was seeing this in a vision. Okay, future prophecy, which we are in now. So Ezra's back here today. Okay, as he made mention, who shall deliver me in those days? Okay, and that's for the ones who can receive it. Okay, because recarnation is biblical. Okay. And, and when a person die, they go back to the spiritual realm, and Yahweh Bashim Al Shah judged them and sent them back on the earth in a new uh, uh, body, being born again. Okay, reincarnation mean re, mean back. Carnation, carnality mean flesh, back in the flesh. Okay, and, and the two thirds of our people that die on this side, they're gonna be reincarnated into the kingdom. 
by being being born through the offspring or the children or sons or daughters of the elect. Okay, and they're going that's how they're going to inherit the kingdom, the new covenant. Okay. But for you heathens that die, uh, you're going to come back in the kingdom as well, but you're going to come back as servants, slaves. Okay, the ones of you heathens that die on the side, man. But let me continue on. Verse 18. And it says, and it says, the beginning of sorrows and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? And we've seen these things happening, man. Behold, famine, plague, tribulation, and anguish are sent as scourges for a amendment. Okay. So we've seen these things are happening. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. And our people don't care, man. They've seen all these things are happening. We're going out there preaching and teaching and telling them about it. Okay, they're seeing what's going on in the news. They're seeing what's going on in their local neighborhood, all the madness. But they they can't comprehend it because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is blinded in them. And that's going to lead to their destruction. Verse 21, behold, virtues shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in a good case. Yeah, kind of, because they don't see it, even though they're seeing things happening and to the fullest extent to all hell breaking loose, man. So they're still comfortable, okay, to the Lord, take them out of that security with the plagues that he's got set for this place, man. And it says, even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine and great confusion for many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy so this is what's coming man okay the time of uh, martial law the time of uh, concentration camps the time of uncivil unrest uproars of the people race wars famine pestilence etc all the judgment that the lord got set for this place and the main judgment it's those thermonuclear missiles that's going to destroy this place, man. And Yahweh Shai and the angels. Okay, so brothers, we pray that we part of that number, man, of the elect. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and end the lesson here. And once again, I pray that the lesson been edifying to the ones out there listening. And keep fighting, keep pushing, man. Hey, like the elder Kazak say, man, stay strong, we're almost home. Okay, so till the next time, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh. Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Makakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that teach and rule well today. And citation also to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry and the believers that scattered worldwide that's uplifting and exalt the name of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Know our truth is a serious. Until next time, Lord willing, Shalom.